What's going on guys, it's Lady V. Today we're gonna talk about the new Super Troop coming to the Clash of Clans Winter Update, the Super Wizard, but we're also going to talk about this invisibility spell and how it will replace the Zapquake. Stay tuned. We will be getting a very special super wizard to come with the Clash of Clans winter update, but I also want to talk about a meme that I saw from Reddit, and I guess it's not a meme because it's true. It works. It's the combination of the rage, the invisibility spell, and skellies to replace the zap quake so we're going to talk about that in a little bit let's talk about the super wizard because we're going to see it in action in the gameplay that i have as well with that combination of the i don't know what we're going to call it invisi skelly rage something along those lines but yes it works i'm not sure if any of you guys saw it from any other creators but i saw the meme i tried it out and it worked if you know who's done this and if they've done it we'll talk about it later we'll talk about it later i can't get ahead of myself let's talk about the super wizard first Okay, so in our lineup, we have the Super Wizard. Let's take a look and see his stats here. As you can see, his fireball in his hands is no longer a fireball, but it's looking more like an elongated lightning chain. So he's bringing the fire and the lightning together in this chain ability. But this is pretty incredible because his lightning chain um, will not only hit the nearby targets, it can bounce up to 10 times um, to different targets, but they need to be within the same range as the original target that went through. So if you don't have everything all together, then it's not gonna work. You would need everything together, no spaces, or all equally distributed spaces. It's the only way it would work to get up to the 10 times value. We'll take a look at it in action, but let's look and see what we have here for our stats. Now the damage per second is 240. Um, hit points are 500, but what we wanna know is the housing space. It's gonna cost you 10 housing space to get this done. Um, it's It can be worth the investment. I mean, we use baby dragons for funnels, and if you can pick up a nice funnel, it's a much cheaper investment than an e-drag. Yes, it doesn't have the same kind of hit points, but you can still do things to adjust, like maybe use loons, have something to tank. You can still make it work without spending a crazy amount of value on it. So I know you guys want to take a look at it in action. We're going to break it down, talk about it, and we're going to showcase this incredible, crazy hit that I'm, I, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I couldn't believe it with the new invisibility spell and how we're going to change it around. We have Klaus's base here from the Six World Championship qualifiers, the final match against INTZ. And I looked at the space. I completely forgot what um, Selenio had done to it. And I thought, you know what? This would be a nice hybrid base. So I wanted to play around with a few things. He actually came in with a ver very similar strategy using hogs and somewhat of a different approach. But the way he had gone about it was eliminating the clan castle with the Zapquake which we can't do anymore. So there's this new thing using the rage, the invisibility spell and skelly spells to get it done. And as you can see in my troop composition, I have one rage. I've got two invisibility spells and three um, skelly spells. Now I've found with playing with this kind of strategy, we don't see the, um, I've not been able to make it work with just the one, not yet, not in the right combination with other things around. So maybe if you have something that's isolated and moded, you could get it done, that's possible, but I'm finding that the two is easier to get done and it's still less value than what we were using for the Zapquake to eliminate it. Um, so it takes, it's a little tricky. It works. Um, and we're also going to focus on the Super Wizard because the Super Wizard, in my opinion, is a great uh, funneling tool, but it also can help in the end of your raid if you have a heavy chunk area that you need to help clear out because he works kind of efficiently. Uh, you just need to make sure there isn't too much targeting him. So let's take a look at this raid and um, we're gonna focus in on this rage, skelly, invisibility, combination. So the key is when you drop these invisibility spells similar to the jump and the rage, it can expand quite a bit. So you need to make sure that you um, you get the placement right. That's going to be the hardest thing for people. It's not as easy as a zap quake because it's such a fine line of where you can put it, keeping those skellies underway. 
Now, with the rest of this push, I wanted to use a wall wreck, uh, the, sorry, the log launcher. This is our newest siege machine to come to Clash of Clans, and I like the push that it offers, but you can see here the power. I did use two ice golems, and I invested um, some loons and a yeti for the funnel. So I, I think it was pretty worthwhile because of what it cleared out. It cleared out this entire section, and then when we look at this moated chamber, you can see I've got nice hybrid pathing cutting along, but I also need to keep the heroes moving through. Now, I don't have he healers here. It's not a typical hybrid because of what we're working with. This is a very, um, a very different type of hybrid because you're just basically using your heroes working along similar to what you would do with the dragon raid so the king and queen together we can see the super wizard helping here um, with the funnel very quickly again remember the super wizards uh, lightning chain spell is only going to work if the buildings are connected to the same level so the multiple points that it pulls through they have to be at that similar level but it is a nice start and it's similar to using a baby dragon but I think you can get it working quicker. So you see the hybrid paths around. We've got a nice position here. Heroes walking around to keep this funneled. Again, remember, we we're talking about this is not um, this is not your typical hybrid working through. We don't have the queen charge leading into this. This already had the shape of the base that we created. Um, but I do reserve another super wizard here for uh, the cleanup. I've got a heavy area. Now I do have a minion down. I had to use one to help with taking down one of the mortars. So I used one of those already, but this helped with the cleanup and also with a mortar focused on my main pack of troops coming in, I was able to pick up a nice area of this base and keep it moved around, which did help with the queen working into the single targeting uh, chamber for some of the cleanup here in the very end of the raid. But this is, I mean, don't count out the value that this is gonna help coming through with your cleanup. Now, similar to the E-Drag, um, uh, the e, the e dragon general is lightning chain it can't be any more than one tile space in between so you saw that the storage there it wasn't getting anything next to because there's two tile space in between so it either needs to be right up onto the building or only one tile and then if you want to get um, like maximum value the only way it's going to work is if everything is equally distributed so if one if your first original target is one building up against it, then everything else needs to be one building up. It won't go to anything that has a space in between. So they either need to be touching or equally distributed with the spaces. And that's the super wizard and <laughs> that's the invisible raged skellies to take out the town hall. Now let's take a look at another um, kind of style of raid with these super wizards that I was playing around with. I don't think it's gonna hold too much steam, but I'm curious to see what people might do with this. Okay, I did the same base just because it kind of had the same path that I was looking for. Now, my thought in this is if the super wizards are kind of like e-drags, why not try it out with doing a mass push coming in? I don't think it's going to be easy. I don't think this is the way to go about it. You need to find ways to help cut them inside the base. I brought in a couple super valks. Super valks are still very difficult to work with. I still think they're better for super falcon when you get the right value. But start it off the same way. You get to see exactly the uh, the skelly raged, invisible skelly rage. I don't know. We need we need to come up with a name for this. I still think we should call it the John Cena because you can't see it. <laughs> uh, this gets the same pathing the way we did with the hybrid, but the only difference you're going to see is that I do start off with a uh, very shallow queen char uh, queen walk to lead in. So this, again, similar to like a falcon, you're going to need to get the proper funnel coming in with your queen to get everything working together. So let's speed through just a little bit because let's I want to get I want to get to the meat of this where we send the wizards in together. Now, it doesn't get a massive amount of value. This does not actually triple. It gets a 93%. So, I mean, it can use some working. Again, this is Klaus's base from the World Championship uh, qualifiers, the final one in, uh, in, uh, in November. So the queen walks through. We get the funnel coming in. And I wanted to get the wizards coming through, the super wizards working through with the Valks. So they come directly in. And I did rage it up just to try and get a quicker push across. 
but you keep the wizards together. And again, I think the bigger problem is, I mean, you get some good connection. You can see these are equally distributed. All of those items have that one tile space in between. So you get a nice push with it. But I think it's going to be very inconsistent. I think E-Dragons -Dragon, e would probably be the better way to go about. I'm still interested to see what kind of crazy attacks people will come up with these super wizards. I mean, we saw super archers coming through and doing a phenomenal amount of work. And this still does get a great power through a lot of heavy defenses. Um, you know, we had both scatter shots there that were equally distributed and taken down. And the eagle as well. And a quick sweep through of getting past the royal champion. So we get right to the heroes here. And yes, we're going in halftime speed. Let's pick it up just a little bit, just a little bit more. But they do. They get some reasonable value, and it's enough to help shape up a complete push for the queen to continue around, especially because we have the queen inside there with the healers. So uh, similar to those witch style attacks or yeti smashes, it's almost like a ground version of the e-drag. And it can be powerful enough to push through. Look how well... They've done with the here with the healers, with the queen there, with the warden there, as long as you are keeping them moving along, keeping them healed up, and getting that warden ability off in critical areas. In this particular one, it's more to get them through the heroes, especially because the warden tome helps keep the headhunters pushing through to take the heroes down fast. That was a bigger bigger factor for this one. So let me know your thoughts about this. I'm curious what you think about the new super wizard. And I'm also very curious what you guys think about the new raged uh, invisible skellies. And if you think that this is going to be um, something that a lot of people are using, let me know if you've seen other content creators doing it because I saw the meme. I was like, no, this is not gonna work. <laughs> no way. And then I was like, will it? And I tried it and yes, yes it does. Make sure to leave your thoughts in the comments below about the new super wizard, about this invisibility adjustment that could take over the zap, uh, the zap quake combination and cost you less space. Now, just remember the one thing about that is t what I'm seeing is you're only taking down the clan castle, but it can be enough value to make a difference in what's going on. Uh, be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video and uh, don't forget to subscribe so you can stay tuned to some of the next videos to come. Until next time, this is Lady V. I'll catch you guys later.